all of our invitationals, we take a site visit. So back in the beginning of March, myself and Ryan Tahara, who is the regional director in the Southeast, came up to the Country Club of North Carolina, met with everybody, got the lay of the land, rode the golf course, and figured out a lot of that preliminary information. Well, in terms of you know trying to prepare the course for the tournament, um, we, we really don't have to change a lot of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, but as you get closer to the tournament, uh, there's a little bit more time spent in some of the detail work. Our members have been very supportive uh, of the Rolex girls. Uh, as they have, we've had quite a few uh, major junior tournaments over the last seven, eight years, and uh, our, our members have been very supportive of that. The set of days are busy. Um, we spend a lot of time marking the golf course, um, and then they'll pretty much go from marking the golf course straight into um, setting up signage, setting up tents, stake and rope. Um, we do whole locations the day before the practice round. We first uh, met with uh, uh, Ryan Tahera, uh, I guess about a year ago, and uh, began the conversation uh, about the Rolex girls. It's been great working with them. They obviously. Uh, have had a lot of experience and do a terrific job in running the events uh, for the AJGA, but they've been great to work with. Ho hopefully they feel the same about us. The Rolex partnership is fantastic. Um, they've been with us uh, for many, many years and we couldn't do a lot of the things um, that we do without Rolex. They're a sponsor of this tournament as well as our Rolex tournament champions and the Rolex Junior All-America teams, so um, we really couldn't do everything that we do throughout the year without them.